Our judgment belongs to God only. Because okay. he's the creator of everyone. Because a lot of people yeah, are, you, have been taught this lies. This is why I stop here. You've you got to understand I have a choice, but I stop for a reason. Right. You understand? I know you're... I put that in your spirit to stop here. No, my, it's a curiosity. I want to know. I'm not going to stand there and judge whatever you believe just, in. I just, want to know what you believe in. Let me read this from the Bible. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Bible. You just, I, I, it's good what you're saying. If that in a perfect Sounds world, great, yeah. that would be beautiful. But this ain't a perfect <laughs> world. Boy. Now you say you're a, a Pentecostal, right? You know John Sinclair? He's the founder of the Pentecostal Church. But you're from Liberia. This man is from America. He he came. He made this religion in 1919. That's not even. <laughs> Liberian, okay. Hey, are you like an original Liberian or you came or your family was was one of those that came from over there? I'm an immigrant. All right. What's what's your um you know what's your um your tribe? Um Huh? It's like Oh nice, nice. Yeah, you, you heard about the children of Israel? Yeah, Huh? Oh you're a Pentecost. Okay, did the did God ever give religion to, to people? Did God ever give religion to anyone? He gave it to the world? He gave religion to the world. Or did he give his laws and commandments? I'm not saying, do you believe in God's commandments? How many commandments does God have? Do you know? Just ten? Can you name me five of them? Adultery, um, lying. Basically, don't do to others the way you want to be done to yourself. Like That's you. not a commandment. I know, but I'm trying <laughs> to like, take it now. Oh, okay. How the, long have you been going to church? In the New Testament, Jesus said that the whole commandment is all about treating others the way to be treated. Because you don't want to steal from somebody if you don't want to be stolen from. You don't want to kill somebody if you don't want to die. But what if I don't? What if? What if me? Don't. What if I don't care about dying? I don't. I don't so I'm a killer, and I don't care about dying. So I don't care if somebody treats me like that. So I can only love you and pray that you change. But changing you is not my power because I cannot control your mind. I can only. But what I'm trying to say is that you say that Christ says to love people as you love yourself, right? Well, what if by me showing you love is killing you? What if I think that it's loving to kill you? Well, then I gotta know what real love is so I can know the measure that whoever bring love to me, I will not just accept it because it looks like love. Like, okay. I know what real love is. And would, you, would you know what God says? You know that God defines what love is, though, right? What did God define? Give me 1st John. You love God, don't you? But, how, but how, do you, how do you show your love to God? Having faith, praying, and having one-on-one with Him. I mean, what do you do to, to, to show that you have faith? I pray. I make sure that my heart is pure and treat others. Mm -hmm. And also make sure my connection with God is strong and real so you can be able to connect with you. How do you know you got a strong connection to God? When I search my heart. When you touch your heart. When I search my heart. You search your heart? Yes. So your heart has thoughts. My heart tells me what I'm doing because I can lie to you but I cannot lie to myself. Your heart has a conscience and your a brain to speak to you. I'm sorry? Your heart has a conscience and a brain to speak to you? Not or are you using your mind? mind? Well, I was trying to say heart as in like my love for God. That's why I mean my heart, but not to say why well, I search my heart to answer. Yeah, your heart is just an organ that pumps no. blood in your body. Yeah, I'm very <laughs> not aware of that. I'm very aware of that. So you think your mind, this is your, your thoughts. I know. Know. That's your heart, your I know. deepest I'm thoughts. I know, I'm a psychologist, like, so I know what is it in my So you're saying from Liberia, right? Yeah. Wait, wait, hold on. So I can. Oh, no, we don't want to really talk to our own mind. We want to actually. That's fine. We want to. We want to give you God's words because a lot that's what happens a lot a lot of people think that they understand what God is saying because they've been taught I don't know what God is saying I'm telling you from my perspective right what I, my relationship with him do you believe God. do you believe that the Bible is God's word I do so if, some, if I read a scripture for you do you believe that it's God that's God's not what God says everybody interprets things differently Okay, so I'm just going to read the scripture to you. I'm not interpreting it for you. All right, go ahead. 
All right, this is 1 John chapter 3 and verse 4. Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth the, also the law, for sin is the transgression of the law. All right, so we know what sin is, right? So we don't, we, if we commit sin, we break in God's law, right? Yeah. All right, so you don't want to be considered a sinner. You want to be considered somebody that loves God. So now let's teach you what love is. Is it three and five? First uh, John five and three. Five and three. Five and three. First, and this is a New Testament, right? This is the book of Proverbs, chapter three and verse five. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. You just said that, right? Don't, don't, don't. Yeah, don't come up with your own interpretation, right? That's in the Bible. That's good. Trust to the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thy own understanding. And all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. The Lord is going to tell you how to go. Keep going. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. So you have to fear God and depart from evil. All right? And fear is just another word for saying respect him. Respect what he says and obey him. All right? So let's take, so you thought you love God, right? So let's take, let's define love. God defines love in the Bible, what love is. All right, go ahead. This is the book of 1 John, chapter 5, verse 3. For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. So he's saying that to keep his commandments and his commandments on our heart. All right, so it would behoove us, us all to try to learn what his commandments are, right? So that we can keep them, so we can, we can do them, all right? Because we can't keep we can't keep a law according to what we think is a law, right? Because when you walk when you if you walk down the street and you don't walk in the crosswalk, what is that called? If you walk across the street and you don't walk in the in the um, in the crosswalk, what what do you call that? It's called jaywalking, right? Is that against the law? It's against man's law. So we keep man's law, do we not? So should we not try to keep God's law? All right. No, no. I'm just, I'm just trying to reiterate this fact. All right. All right. So do you keep the the fourth of the Ten Commandments? Do not. Do we know that one? No. It's the Sabbath. Do you keep the Sabbath? That's not what I asked though. Going to church is not a commandment. Sabbath is on Saturday. Yeah, Friday sundown to Saturday sundown. Because the way I grew up, we go to church on a Sunday. So Sabbath to me is on a Sunday. So I didn't answer your question correctly, just not the way you wanted it. Because I don't go to church on Sabbath day. Because I but, grew up in Sabbath. I told them I'm Pentecost. Okay, but did God change the Sabbath? No way, no. No, he never changed the Sabbath. So if he's saying to keep the Sabbath. But you know why we, we go to church on a Sunday? Because the way we count the day of, of the week. Mm -hmm. So to us, the Sabbath is the Sunday. So what is the first day of the week? Is a Monday. So Pentecost said the first day of the week is Monday. Well, I used to be a Pentecost and I never heard that. Yeah, I'm a Pentecost. I, my Pentecost is Africa, so you got to know. Oh, okay. So, they, so, so if somebody but talks, you if, but if somebody teaches you a lie, right? Yeah. And then you learn the truth, are you going to still keep that lie? No. But you know that the Sabbath is Saturday and you still keep the lie that you was told. Uh -huh. And the God that I know, uh -huh. and that was the same thing. What is life without challenge? What is life without different views? That was the same person that changed languages. Also, one. What is life without all those? The same God that made Adam and Eve created the same apple that he told him not to touch. In that presence, the first temptation. So, what is life if we don't have different views where we're going to know who is? Everybody thinks we just want God. Will we all be walking like magic? But everybody doesn't believe in the same God. Well, but listen, okay, I'm going I'm to break down a few things that you just said. Because you said that God gave us free will to choose, right? That You said that God changes things. But he's God. Who are you to change anything that God said? But that was saying, oh, yeah. not, not you, not you directly. Oh, okay. Who are we as people exactly. to change anything that God said? Uh, exactly. we are, our job is to obey. Do you agree? Yeah. 
All right, so if God says, walk this path, we should walk that, we should do our best to walk that. I mean, we're not, we're not, we're still in mortal flesh, but it should be our goal to follow what God says. You admitted earlier that we should keep the Ten Commandments. I told you what the fourth commandment was. Give me Exodus chapter 20 and verse, I think it's verse 3. Eight. It's 8. Huh? Eight. Verse 8. It's a lot here. So yeah, you said that you should keep the Ten Commandments, right? I asked you to name me five. Struggle. That's okay. Because this is everything that we do in life is a learning experience. But it's only a learning experience if you accept the truth and then you change your ways to follow along that path. So it's the when I don't question. So when do you believe in Jesus? Of course we do. Okay. When Jesus was pushing the world, the mm -hmm. word of God. How did he know about it? Aggressively? Mm -hmm. Or I'm going to preach it to you and pray that the Holy Spirit open your mind that you receive what I'm saying mm -hmm. and know the truth. Even his 12 disciples around him mm -hmm. struggle having the faith, the struggle of believing, even though the believers, when Jesus went up the hill to, to pray, where did the disciple go? They didn't pray with him. When he came back, they were sleeping. Mm -hmm. So he knows the truth because he is the Son of God, blessed with the Holy Spirit. See things that you do not see, no things that you do not know. Okay, so, so his word wait, 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 wait. So, hold on, hold on. Okay. I hear you, you're good. But that's great that you said that, but when he came out of the hill and found them sleeping, uh -huh. did he not chastise them? Wait, definitely don't chastise them. Did he not yell at them and say, I was only up there for a minute, you couldn't stay awake while I went and yeah, prayed? But you just said that he didn't teach like that. Because the disciple was displaying something they're supposed to know better. It's like having leaders in your round you that you that they have that expectation. Mm -hmm. So yes, Jesus is gonna hold you accountable because you are chosen to be a money disciple. Mm -hmm. So such behavior is 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 not required. Okay, so, so when Jesus prayed, he expected them to pray with him and hold the front, just like Elijah, just like when you fight in a battle, you have people like right here, these are in support. So your point is the only reason the only reason he was so strict on them is because they knew better. Right? Okay. But the people on the street, like the women, the women, the women uh, named Paul, the, the woman with the stone, the prostitute. Okay. He could have joined them. Hold up. on. But then when Jesus, remember the temple when Jesus th threw people out? Yeah. Because it was disrespecting God. So when God, Jesus knows when to show anger and when not to show anger. But he knows that. When you preach the word of God, you got to let people know that it's free will. I'm going to tell you, I have a God mm -hmm. that will do not discriminate yeah, you, will free. not dislove you. But we love you even if you commit all the sins in the world. Because he is a God. He says your sins are forgiven. Not it cannot be punished. I'm not saying it will not be punished. Because just like your children, if a kid do something wrong to you, so not to do it and keep doing it, you have to set that precedent and say, okay, I'm gonna show you I'm a, as a black person, they're gonna beat your butt and then you're not gonna do it again. Right? Jesus if you sin all the time, that's what the blood of Jesus is for. He said, at the, at the mention of your name, every knee shall bow. The blood of Jesus washes all sins away. I cannot condemn you. I don't have the power because I'm a sinner as well. You are born by sin. But the blood of Jesus, when, when, you, when you give your life to Christ, what do you say? You, you, you believe in all he has, all he, he, te he teaches, right? God is all about forgiveness. So if, he, if, his, if his blood is about forgiveness, he pulled the blood of Jesus over us to forgive our sins. Right? That is not my power, but the blood of Jesus, right? So if I want to preach the word of God, we work in, we have a world of different ideas, different religions. Everybody thinks well, they're just the number one. Them. Everybody thinks. Religion. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying people. Yep. People believe their own religion. People have their own ideas. Some people believe in science. Some people believe in the trees. Some people believe in whatever. So my they're wrong. Is, that's what kind of constitutes? So, so they're wrong then. So you're not going to cross Listen, listen, listen. If they're not believing Jesus, that yes. All those people that believe in all these things, that's, that's not the Bible. Are they right or are they wrong to believe that? They are wrong, but it's not what is their judgment? For, what does the Bible say their judgment is for them? They're going to be destroyed, ever. right? Yeah, but that's how our judgment belongs to God only. Because well, he's the creator of everyone. Because a lot of people yeah, are, you, have been taught this lies. This is why I stop here. You gotta understand, I have a choice to keep walking. But I stop for a reason. Right. You understand? I know you're. I put that in your spirit to stop here. No, my, it's a curiosity. I want to know. I'm not gonna stay here and judge whatever you believe in. I want to know what you believe in. Let me read this from the Bible. Yes. Yeah. 
bring it up for the Bible. You just, I, I, it's good what you're saying. If that, in a perfect Sounds world, great, yeah. that would be beautiful. But this ain't a perfect <laughs> world. Boy. Now, you say you're a, a, a Pentecostal, right? You know John Sinclair? He's the founder of the Pentecostal church. But you're from Liberia. This man is from America. He, he, came, he made this religion in 1919. That's not even... 200 years ago. That's not 100 years ago. All right, but you don't even know the man who created your religion. And you talk about Pentecost, uh, what did you say? Pentecostal? So you want to put Pentecost? I'm saying, but the man who created it, his name is John Sinclair. Look him up and see what kind of person he is. All right? Now, this is from the Bible. When you're talking about Jesus, you're talking about this one right here, right? This image that was given to our people. Who's this right here? You think that's Jesus? Um, everybody have that own perspective. No, I'm asking you, young lady. Your, your perspective. Do you think your that's Christ? Jesus the Christ? I don't know. That kind of look, that looks like this dude right here. Or <laughs> <laughs> well, looks like you. Well, he does not look like us. Uh, this guy right here looks like us. Well, well, so, if no, we're so like skin color, so the Bible. So, the Bible so are you watching the black God? Like God well, like the, well the, the Bible describes him. This is what I'm trying to tell you. Even if, I can, even if it show me a tree that that's Jesus, the God that I know and worship is spiritual. Physical. I'm looking at it. So listen, the, description of how do you worship God? My, God? I'm going to tell you my God. focus. My focus is not really like the God's God 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 spirit. God. 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 When, when, when Jesus was being baptized God. by Moses, he said, this is my son in whom I'm pleased. Jesus is Jesus wasn't born like the way we all was born. Right. Correct? No. What, 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 what Bible verse is that? That's not, that's not good. Jesus wasn't born the way he was born. He was born by Virgin Mary. Were you born by Virgin Mary? What's the word Virgin Mary? That's a doctrine that was born. That's a doctrine that was presented. That's what you got to bring up. That's what you got to bring up out of the lies. You got to break out of the lies. You got to break out of the lies that we've been taught, man. Religion has done nothing but indoctrinate our people. It's dumb as hell. So, if this is not a religion, it's not a religion. 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 What is the call? What is the religion called? You said you said you said Jesus born by Virgin Mary. What is this religion called? Oh, sorry, not religion. What is this fellowship called? Hold on. Let's deal one thing at a time. You just said you said Jesus born by by Virgin Mary. Yeah. But the scripture say, look at this is Hebrews 2:17. For the reason he had to be made like them, fully human in every way, in order that he might become merciful and faithful in, as a high priest to serve God, and he might be the atonement for their sins and as a people. So if, he, he's, if he's born a fully human, human if, he, if, he's, if he's born a fully human in, every, in, 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 in all ways, then that means he was born with sex. That's how everybody's born. That's how every human's born. The scripture says he was born fully human in every way. So well, he was not made any different from any other person. But, but you know what? But listen, listen, that's why I said interpretation has a key. You and I can read the same science, in science psychology is called intro perspective. Science? I, I'm, I'm science, not saying, I'm not believing science. Hold on a minute. I'm saying psychology. <laughs> psychology. It's <laughs> a study. What I'm trying to say about the mind is that we learn this in school. What is that? Whatever we read, I can look at something and read it and translate my mind. It could be the wrong translation. You can read the same passage and have a different translation, right? Now, you and I can stand, and I can stand my ground and say, what I read is what I read. You can't tell me black or blue. And you can stand your same way. But what now, you said wasn't in the Bible. Everything you said. I didn't say it was. I'm saying all the stuff you said, but you're, Pente you're a Pentecostal, right? So if you went to the Pentecostal church and said what you said, they would kick you out that church. Why? Because everything you say is not in the Bible, right? The Pentecost that I go to on, on private if, they, if you say what you said, <laughs> Pastor, if you say what you said to mm -hmm. us, to your pastor, yeah. mm -hmm. you think you would believe what you're talking about? Yes. How can I not believe somebody who's still on the pulpit to teach me what he knows through the Bible and I read the same Bible? Because well, we I, my house is right well, there. Well, we I can give you my Bible. We just told you how to love God. You ain't know that. You didn't teach me how to love God. That's because it said, if you love God, keep his commandments. I was answering him. So you see, this is what I'm trying to tell you. You can preach to people. But when you try to feel like, you, oh, what you know is wrong, so I'm going to teach you right now, nobody will listen to you. I'm not saying you're wrong. We're no, saying you're wrong. I'm talking to someone. You're coming from the Bible. You're not coming from any 
You're just coming from your heart. I feel this way. I feel that way. Sure, everybody got their own sure, I can't listen. You can't have one, two, three people talking. Listen, and y'all older than me. I'm standing here out of respect to come with you. Because I want to not want to learn. If I didn't want to learn something, I would want to. Again, nobody's chaining me down here. Okay? I'm not here to criticize, condemn, or say you're wrong. I never look at one of you and say, what you believe in is wrong, what you believe in is wrong. I did it. It's because every life is free will. You can preach whatever you want to preach and believe it. Nothing is wrong in anything you're saying. But you can't prepare. I was walking by. You didn't see me on my phone. I have internet on my phone. Yeah, so, so I, yeah. I, I, but what's the point? Hey, 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 so I'm Hey, can I ask you a quick question? Hey, what question? Quick question.